Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today, we're going to take a look at parsing through a transform map. So if you're loading in data, whether it be just a standalone Excel file or through uh, an API, sometimes that data may not come across exactly how you want it, and you may need to parse it out. In this case, we are going to load in the environment that you see on the screen. And we can see that the environment listed here is production.sys32.my.test.server. Now, the environment field in which we're going to load, which is going to be the Linux server, is a choice list. And that is not one of the options. However, production is. And so what we want to do is parse out just that beginning part that says production, because in this example, we're going to assume that the environment will always be listed first. We also note that it's delimited by a period. So let's take a look. Now, I've already got that data loaded. I've got a data source created. That data is attached. We're taking a look at the transform map. Like I said, we are putting this into the Linux server table. So now let's map our data. Our target field is going to be environment. And we're going to want to use a source script. Now, I do want to point out this choice action. This is important for when you're actually doing this in a live environment or you're, you're doing this for your dev. This is going to be, do you want it to create if it doesn't exist? Do you want it to ignore or reject it? So and that's for that choice list item. This choice action shows up when you're putting data into a choice list. So. We want to parse that out. So we're going to do this in a set of variables and return our final variable. So the first thing we want to do is grab uh, that data. So we're going to grab that in a string value, uh, or sorry, just a variable here, uh, source.u environment. And then we're going to want to split it up. So we're going to take that variable, str and do a split. And our delimiter, once again, is that period. So we're going to put that here. And now we want to tell it which part to grab. So if you remember right, and I'll bring it back up, there's multiple parts here. So we want to know which one of these to grab. Now, the way you can think about this is production is going to be in the zero place. This is 32, 1, my 2, et cetera. So now let's make our last variable, uh, var envo trim, and pull that array. And we want the 0. And then we want to trim the rest. So basically, we're getting rid of the rest. Now, if we wanted, if it was, if production was in the middle, maybe it was where uh, sys was, sys32, which was the right after production, we would put a one in that place. So but for this, we've gotten our production, and now we just want to return that and put that into the environment field. So let's go ahead and submit this. And let's transform. Now let's look at our results. Let's see, our new entry was created here. If we look at the environment field, we can see that we have successfully brought production over. Another one was not added here, even though we had the create because production already existed as a choice list item. So that's how you could go about parsing out data if you need to on an import. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.